Well, hey everybody, I wanted to show you where I'm at. That's the glistening waters and restaurant hotel. And this is the bus station, the Knoxford Express. They go, they leave here and they go to the airport right across from the departures where you go to get on a plane. And I just now really noticing all that solar power they got up there on that roof. That air conditioner is not cooling that little building off. But there's quite a few people taking the ride today. As you can see, there's my stuff right there. But one of the kept secrets around here is about how do you get to the airport after you leave your Airbnb, like in my case, up at Coral Springs um, Retreat Heights. What you do is you buy a pre-ticket. You know, you come a little ahead of time, you buy your ticket, you have it, you get a little bit of discount. 950 Jamaica. That's almost 1,000 Jamaica, and that's to the airport where cabbies and other people are are saying they're you know arranging your ride. They charge anywhere from 50, 60, and even 70 dollars, and that's from right here in Falmouth, near Burwood Beach, and it's like if you're a kite boarder. It's, it's perfect to stay at the Airbnb and, and come to the bus. And the bus times run at 8, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30. 10:30. So you've got plenty of time to look at the website. And when you do look at the website, you can actually uh, reserve your seat on, online. So you go to Knox Ford express.com and you'll find their website but that's the big old bus right there i think i heard him say it, it held 42 42 people so there's no more wondering how much is how expensive it's going to be to get to the airport because i want everybody to start telling people that this is the way to do it i've already rode in to help a, a couple of ladies rent a car I just rode with them. I didn't, yeah. But the point is, uh, it works. That bus was a little bit late, but the morning bus is supposed to be on time. This bus is supposed to be here at 9.30. So what we can do is just <laughs> see how accurate that is. All right, I'll let you know. I'm walking out to the road to show you where this place is in case you really want to find it. The Glistening Waters Hotel, Luminous Lagoon, there is the roundabout. Now, if you go to the left on the roundabout, that's the main highway right here, the main highway. This is where you go to Rock, and this is where you go to Dennis's place, uh, Bougie's on the Water guest house, and this is where you find the gas station that's open 24 hours a day. So you come down this way, you see all this, and you walk in, I mean, you're, you're riding in, and then you get over here and you park, and you go to the little building. And I'm going to show it to you while we're walking. But uh, look at that solar power. That is, I almost got a guy that was going to show me their their battery bank and uh, you know their uh, the uh, auxiliary room where they keep all the inverters and converters. But this is the building you're looking for. You'll see that bus bay only. So you don't want to park there. <laughs> All right. Hey everybody, as you can see, I made it onto the bus. I'll just show you briefly what the bus looks like. was dead on time. That's 9.30. Five minutes after 9.30. Later. A few moments later. And then the flames. Flames dance. Like, like, like the devil's horrified and then I feel you Right, right, right. Every 
every second counted. There I was engulfed. And I was trying to get to, to my uncle, you know, he was lying. 